Hi, my name is Brent, and today we're going to be showing you how to repair your television slash TV monitor. So we've taken apart the back of the television right here, and uh, what we're going to fix today is the power board. Um, this is the power board right here. You know it's the power board because this is the power uh, cord connects to the back of the television and was connected to this. Now one of the most important things to do before you start anything is to take a picture of your board in the television. Just to know what it looks like uh, in case you forget where these things plug in or if any of the capacitors look out of place. Alright, so now we've removed the board and we're going to replace the capacitor. Failed capacitors are one of the most common reasons that your monitor might go out and we're going to show you what a capacitor is. Uh, this is a capacitor, this is a new one. Uh, one important thing to know is that they are polarized. And what that means is that there's a positive and a negative. And the negative is this white thing right here. The rest of it's black. Uh, one thing that you need to know is where uh, the negative side on your board is. So usually, like right there, there'll be a darker side, it'll be shaded in, it might say negative, and you need to know where those are because you have to match up the negative with the negative. Um, if you don't do that, your television could explode. Uh, so we, what we want to do is we want to replace the failed capacitors. And you can find a failed capacitor, uh, whether it's leaking or bulging. So this capacitor right here is fine, but we're just going to show you how you would replace one. Uh, you look for it right here, and then on the corresponding side, you look for the pins. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to remove it. So to do that, you take your soldering iron, you look for the metal pins, and you just melt them to get all the solder out, and the capacitor should fall out on the other side. There's going to be some excess solder left over, and to remove that, you can either take your wick and your iron and just heat it up over it to absorb the solder, or else you can take your solder sucker, which is this guy, and just over the excess solder, suck it up. Now on the other side, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the negative side and match it up. And whenever you replace capacitors, you want to make sure that the UF value matches up exactly with the one that you're replacing it with. The voltage can vary a little bit. You can go a little bit higher, that's not too bad, but the UF value has to match up. So you go there, line up negative, negative, put the wires in, and you flip it over to the other side. Then you take your solder and your soldering iron and then you would just heat it up and it'll melt and it'll uh, stick it in place. There will be wires that will be poking out and you just take your wire cutter, snip them off and you should be good to go. You would have successfully placed a capacitor.